What's up, guys? Today we're looking at a band we haven't looked at yet, and this band is called Wolfheart. And this song is called The Flood. And without further ado, we'll check it out. And one, two, Wolfheart. <laughs>
Okay. That's a cool vibe too. Um, first thing that I want to say is, drummer wise, he sounds very much like he has jazz roots as a drummer, and that's really cool because honestly, I love it when you have jazz drummers that then end up in metal bands. Um, you see that in Texas in July. You see that in August Burns Red. In you see it here. I don't know who else out there has jazz roots as their first style that they learned, um, but it's really cool. It adds a lot when you, when that's kind of how you think in the off meter rhythm, in the more triplet based combined with 32nd note slash 16th note rhythms. That's a really cool add on to metal, especially in this case because it's already a slow song. So, like, the very f this part and then when you throw in those kind of jazz fills it really adds to the song and it adds to the feel that the band's going for in this case also his snare sounds amazing and that makes sense because it's an aqua it has aquarian heads and aquarian makes really good heads um that's an amazing setup that yamaha kit looks outstanding um, I actually really like that they use flying V's because it just, they didn't highlight that. Like, Oh, look how cool my guitar is. It was like, this is just, a, this is an ax that I feel like using for this recording. And it's great. And I really like that. Also, I like that they filmed it in a studio like that because it reminds me of winter sun, the way they did their live recording. But this also just, like, I just, as a musician, I really like seeing what kind of gear they're using, what kind of instruments, what kind of amps, what kind of heads they're using and stuff. So that's just a really cool aspect for me. Musically, it was great. I really like, I'm getting more and more to the point where I like the more Finnish slash Nordic because there are some other bands, so don't get mad at me but the more Viking-esque, as I like to call them, screaming, which, because now I'm beginning to associate Finnish and Scandinavian metal with more emotion than other metal. And coming here from more of an American perspective, American and British metal, you don't really get that emotionalism in your songs as much and I think it really adds it really 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 adds in my opinion to the song when you have that aspect of emotion besides just anger or despair because Winter Sun like he can sing Yari can sing really well and Nightwish they can sing really well but there is so much emotion in how they sing as well as the lyrics um, comparatively to, let's see, Asking Alexandria, We Came as Romans. Um, I'm having a really hard time actually thinking of bands in America that sing because it's really rare. I mean, on the newest, on the second to newest Whitechapel a album, he actually sang but it still didn't have the level of emotion as these guys. So that's really cool. Um, I really liked it. So thank you for suggesting it. I'll probably go back and listen to it again just so I can get a better grasp of what's going on. And I might listen to it with the lyrics because that always helps. Anyway, thank you so much. You can hit me up on Twitter or Instagram, whichever you want the gram bam um and continue to suggest more videos regardless of the platform you hit me up on um also if you have questions for me go ahead and ask them if you have if you want to get into the songs and talk about the songs more feel free to do that either in the comments or on twitter or instagram and yeah cool good stuff um again take care of yourselves be safe be kind, and I will see you guys 
in the next video.